Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. Today I want to go over my one month review of the church's Shannon T. I've really come to love these shoes. They're a traditional blitcher with a big traditional lug sole big chunky heel they kind of remind me of like the big chunky Pradas that I think are super cool but I wanted something that I felt was a little bit more timeless but these I was able to kind of get a good in between something that I could dress up with the suit I actually wear a suit five days a week and then something I could dress down you know with my bowed over shirt or just a, a pair of black slacks and a t-shirt they're really a great kind of in between and I've really come to love them overall I just think they're such a great shoe I highly recommend them for me when I went to go buy these shoes, I traditionally wear more heritage brand shoes when I'm dressing up. Uh, you know, think Alden, think John Lobb, J.M. Weston. Just so I was a little hesitant to go with churches because I haven't told that their their quality has kind of gone down and they're not quite where they are regarding to the price point. I wasn't super concerned with the price point on these shoes because I wanted something with a more fashion aesthetic and I knew that Prada as a brand was going to kind of deliver. So I kind of got that Prada vibe with the church's kind of chunky heel and heritage. Overall, I'm very happy with them and I think they're going to be a, a staple in my shoe collection for quite a while and I love having the ability to kind of do everything. I just think they're so versatile and so timeless. I've been wearing them relatively often. I would go as far as saying two to three times a week and they've become a staple in my wardrobe. I love the chunky sole, something that I can kind of wear with like a pair of slacks and it feels like it's a little bit more kind of grungy. But then when I wear a suit to work, I can put these on and, and they feel comfortable. They don't feel too out of place. They're just all around a great shoe. Overall quality of the shoe I think is very good. I, I wouldn't necessarily say it's as good as a John Lobb or an Edward Green or something along those lines, but I am very satisfied with it. Being something that's got a bit more of a fashion aesthetic, I, I'm very happy with it and I think Church is just standing up to its name. Uh, being just under $1,000, I do think they are a bit on the pricier side for that quality. But overall, I think they're just really great. Some of the things that you'll notice with these shoes is you're starting to get a bit of creasing in the toe, which isn't a bad thing, but I, I do, traditionally when you're doing like a calf skin, you'll see a little bit more of like, like a rippling, a, a bit of a different thing. I was a bit surprised that these are kind of like folding over themselves, very similar to a, like a, a shell cordovan, even though they aren't a shell cordovan, they are a, what they call a binder leather. So it's kind of like, to me, it reminds me of like a treated calf skin. So I think it's a full grain calf it is treated over to give it kind of a more of a shinier look. And, and I'm really happy with it. I have not polished or, or treated these shoes in any way. Uh, one thing that I noticed, cause the heel is so chunky, you'll notice that I'm getting scuffs kind of in the heel. And then the toe box is still holding up really, really well. They're just great. I think that they're they're gonna be just awesome shoes. Um, the heels on them, I tend to drag my heels a little bit, so I'm a bit surprised at how fast the heel is starting to kind of wear in. That just was a little bit interesting to me. But overall, I just think they're great. They are Blake stitched. This type of Blake stitch is called the Speed Blake. So basically what that means is they stitch the lining or they stitch the bottom of the shoe into the lining and then they use a welt around it to stitch the shoe into that. It's not as water resistant and is as durable as say like a traditional Goodyear welt. They are very comfortable as well. Having that kind of chunky rubber bottom, they're they're great to wear on a hard floor or in the city. Every time that I wear them, I wear them from like nine in the morning to like seven at night. And I traditionally spend most of my time on my feet. The few times that I've like gone on date nights with my fiance, I've worn these as well. And I'll just, we'll go drinking, we'll go dancing and we'll have fun with that. And I'll be able to wear them from you know the start of the day to late in the night and i do think that's because of the lug bottom i don't believe they're cork lined because of the blake stitch but the the chunky rubber bottom allows them to kind of have a lot of shock resorbent and i do think that they're just super super comfortable 
from a care standpoint, I have not polished them or kind of given any type of treatment on the on the soles or the the lining or the calf skin. Um, however, I do every single time I wear them, I do keep them in a shoe tree. I, if you have shoes and you're not putting them in shoe trees and they're leather shoes, uh, you need to reevaluate your life. The shoes are gonna last so much longer and they're gonna keep their shape so much better. I hate when you see somebody walking around and they've got like that toe like way up in the air and you don't look kept. And, and I'm not trying to be rude to people that don't have that, but just get shoe trees. They're like 12 dollars 12 to 24 dollars if you want to go crazy and get like the branded ones yeah they're going to be a bit more expensive but you can literally go to like nordstrom rack and buy shoe trees and you'll be totally fine and they're going to keep their shoes perfectly well go with cedar because it's going to absorb the sweat in your shoe and it's going to help dry out the shoes so you can wear them overall though they're an incredible shoe. I highly recommend them. I think they're gonna last me for years. I think they're timeless enough that they're never gonna go out of style. There's no logoing on them, so I think that's a big important thing as well. And I do do another video of the initial my initial unboxing. So go check that out. I'll, I'll leave that in the description up here or I'll leave it at the end of the video. Uh, but highly recommend these. Definitely go out and check them out. As far as sizing goes, I went with a seven UK. Traditionally I wear an eight men's dress shoe and I wear a nine Nike. So if you're a nine Nike or you're like a, you know, more of a sneaker, I'd go a full size down from what your sneaker size is. And then if you're using like American shoes, I would just go a full size down from that. I think you're going to be very happy with the seven and I don't think you'll regret it. Thanks for coming to my channel, you guys. Check out my other videos. I do everything from watches to streetwear and I think you'll enjoy it. Have a great day and I'll see you next week. Thank you. Goodbye.